Example quattro. Match each expression to the correct sum or difference. Sum would mean that we're adding and difference would mean that we are subtracting. Put a little adding and subtracting sign for you. Okay, so we have, in this one we have one third plus one third plus three thirds. Yes, all of our denominators are the same, which they should be in fourth grade. Okay, so I'm gonna add my numerators. One plus one plus three is five. Slide our threes across, so this one would represent five thirds. The next one, five thirds plus six thirds. Denominators are the same, yes! Five plus six is 11, slide our denominators across, we get three. But I don't see 11 thirds up there, which means I need to change this from a fraction greater than one into a mixed number, which means I need to bust out my division. Bust out my division. I got this. I got this. Stand back, everybody. I got this. All right. So three and 11. 11 divided by three. Three goes into one. It can't. Three can go into 11. 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 is too many, so 3 times 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract, we get 2. Okay, so started from the bottom, now we're on top. And the 3 is our denominator. So 3 and 2 thirds, that's right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, last one. Let me clear some space so I can work out this last one. The green is always so hard to get off. Whew. Okay. Two. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I was waiting for this one all day. And you're like, why are you waiting for this one? You'll see. I need to regroup on this one. Okay. Here, we have two thirds minus one third. Well, I'm sorry, one and two thirds. Well, if I subtract two minus one, I would get one. But if I, I cannot subtract one third minus two thirds because one third is less. So here's what I need to do. I need to regroup the first fraction to make it easier. So I'm gonna take away, let me use green, gonna take away one of your holes, number two. That means you got one left, and I got a hole coming over. So if it's a hole, that means it's broken into three parts, and I get three whole parts. That's plus three. Okay, let me erase that so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So let me rewrite this funky fraction now. It's funky. This would be one, and four thirds. Oh yeah, minus one and two thirds. One minus one equals zero. I'm not gonna write zero there, but you just know. I can actually kind of cancel them out. So now we have four thirds minus two thirds would be two thirds. Example five, I, I, I've. Select all the equations that show different ways to represent 7 eighths. All right, the first one says 3 eighths plus 4 eighths equals 7 eighths. Denominator is the same, so that works. 3 plus 4 equals 7, that works. That was easy. Hey, but it's a multi select. I need to select all the possible answers that it could be. So I need to keep working it out. Don't just stop at A. All right, let's try. 1 8 plus 7 eighths equals 7 eighths. Well, our 8 is good. But 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 eighths. So B is not right. C says 4 eighths minus 3 eighths equals 7 eighths. Our eighths look good, so we're just dragging them across, but 4 minus 3 is 1, not 7. 
Wrong. I make some space. 14 eighths. That's a sloppy eight. Eighths minus six eighths equals seven eighths. Eight, eight, denominators eight, and 14 minus six. Last time I checked, it was not seven, it was eight. That should be eight, so this one is wrong. All right, come on, E. Lucky E. This says one eighth, one eighth plus 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 one eighth equals seven eighths. That is correct. E. Example six. John has three and three eighths chocolate bars. He eats one and seven eighths of the chocolate bars. Could keep going. <laughs> he claims that he has two and four eighths bars of chocolate left. His work is shown below. For step one, he subtracted the whole numbers. Three minus one equals two. Step two, he subtracted the fractions. Seven eighths minus three eighths equals four eighths. And then he combined the whole number of fractions. Do we agree with John? Explain your reasoning. Bye, this one is too hard. I'm giving up. Wrongo. This is where you get intense, people. This is what makes the level fours and level fives pop out because they don't give up on these. They give them a shot. I'm going to give them my best that I can do right now. All right. <clears throat> Let me go back, back to the beginning. All right, so he has three and three eighths of a chocolate bar. He eats one and seven eighths of the chocolate bar. So if he's eating it, that means he's taking it away. And John, I have a question for you. Did you ask your mom if you could eat that much chocolate? I mean, that's almost two whole chocolate bars. I'm thinking the big old Hershey's. You need to make sure. I'll call your mama John. Okay. He claims that he has two and four eighths of a chocolate bar, chocolate bars left. His work is shown below. So he's saying step one, he subtracted the fractions. I'm sorry, the whole number is three minus one and he got Two, that makes sense. And step two, he subtracted these fractions, seven eighths minus three eighths. Hold up, no, no, no. It's three eighths minus seven eighths. John, you must have had a sugar high because you ate too much chocolate and you didn't know how to solve this problem. Okay, so three eighths minus seven eighths. We can't do that. So we get to do my favorite thing, which is regrouping. It's gonna be a next hit song right there. Just wait and see. My favorite thing, which is regrouping. All right, so to regroup, I wanna make this fraction right here larger so I can subtract that seven eighths. Three by three, I'm taking away one of your one whole chocolate bars, okay? But I'm just going to break it up and I'm going to give the fractions over here. So there's eight pieces and a whole chocolate bar. So I'm going to give you eight pieces. So that gives me two and eleven eighths of a chocolate bar. Three and three eighths is the same thing as two and eleven eighths. I'm just rearranging the fractions a little bit so I can subtract them. Then I can bring this down because now eleven eighths minus seven eighths that makes it way easier. So two minus one equals one. 11 eighths minus seven eighths equals four eighths. So you were wrong, John. It was not two and four eighths, it was one and four eighths. Too much chocolate is not a good thing. Now I need to record my answer in here. Do you agree with John? Explain your reasoning. No. I do not agree with John.
he subtracted the fractions incorrectly in the box. He needed to regroup, what was it, three and three-eighths, to become two and eleven-eighths, become has an E on it, two and eleven-eighths. Then two and eleven-eighths minus one and seven-eighths equals one and four-eighths. And I should write in there, cut down on the chocolate, little man. All right, math superstars, time for our motivational message. I'm going to make it quick. Today's message is be grateful for what you have. I hear people complain all day long about what they don't have or how miserable their life is. You know, and then I, ha I see these kids in these classrooms who are just slumped down, not paying attention, and I say, what's the matter? And I say, I just want to go home and go to sleep. Uh, you have a teacher, and you have a classroom, and you have a safe environment that you get to go to for seven to eight hours a day last time I checked. There are kids in other countries who don't have the opportunity to even go to school. Be grateful for what you have. Do you even, I mean, I don't even know if you understand. I don't think you do, because otherwise you wouldn't be slouching on your couch. You wouldn't be slouching on your desk. You'd be studying. Be grateful for what you have. Even if you have a little, be grateful for it. And then when you get more, you can be even more grateful. So just stop whining, stop complaining. That's you too, grownups. Stop whining, okay? Be grateful. I am so grateful for what I have. I don't even have that much. But you know what? I'm so happy for the life that I live. And you should be too. And if you're not, then do something to change it. That's positive. Okay? I'll catch you guys next time.